For the past 15 years that I've been patron, I've been immensely grateful for the work that World Child does and moved by the stories I hear and the people I meet. For children and young people with complex medical needs, World Child provides access to high quality care services and the opportunity to thrive at home alongside their families. World Child also creates a network of support for families who are facing countless medical, logistical and mental health challenges compounded by a cost of living crisis that adds tremendous pressure in caring for their children who are dependent on life-saving equipment.
26, Prince Harry accuses Mirror Group newspapers of industrial scale phone hacking at the end of two days in court. The first senior royal to appear in a witness box for more than 130 years, he faced hours of questioning over allegations that unlawful means had been used to target him since he was a child. Prince Harry told the High Court that he once found a tracking device on the car of his former girlfriend, Chelsea Davy. <laughs> technology youth power fund is an investment in young people that are shaping a more equitable and inclusive technology future. The Youth Power Fund is supporting 26 organizations from around the United States that are focused on the whole spectrum of responsible technology from harm mitigation to ensuring equitable access to the benefits of technology to using technology as a a platform to address some of the biggest challenges that um, this next generation is facing. the significance of being able to wear your nation's flag again. And so many of you have told me that that hit you right here. For many of you, the uniform you've been wearing this past week will give you a new story to tell. And for others, it may give your old uniform new meaning. But I'm here to remind you that after all this, 
You don't need to rely on a uniform, nor should you ever feel lost without one. Why? Because everything you need is already within you. Tomorrow, you will each walk away with memories that are different and unique to you. But my hope is that every memory made brings a smile to your face through a sense of belonging and an opportunity for you and your family to look forward with pride and with purpose. Yesterday, yesterday I met with Master Corporal James Gendron from the Canadian team in the Invictus 2025-10. James, where are you? While we were chatting, I noticed bagpipes lying on the floor in the far corner. Some of you may know what bagpipes mean to me, so I couldn't help but hope that they'd be played. Little did I know that 30 minutes later, it would be James picking them up and offering to play. Yet I had no idea what they meant to him. Nor did I know what memories they triggered for him. In Afghanistan, he played 63 ramp ceremonies for 63 caskets, for 63 souls, for 63 families. Four years after that last ceremony, he couldn't touch them. This week, he wasn't even sure whether he could bring himself to play them, but he did. What had once haunted him, dare I say it, may now be what helps heal him. Thank you, James, for your service, for your courage, and for sharing your gift. So many of you and your loved ones have been to the darkest places imaginable. But your mission to heal and grow has been a shining example to us all. You've shown us the power in not defining people by assumption or their backstory or past pain, but rather instead on their ability, how they show up, and who they are in the present. After this week, know that you are all leading the way for defining human potential and human decency. We value you. We need you, and the world does too. And next year, we've got a lot to look forward to. The Invictus Games Foundation 10-year anniversary, yes, 10 years. And then, and then it's off to Vancouver Whistler 2025.
Germany, thank you so much for the reception and the respect that you have given every single competitor and their family and friends. You have raised the bar here. How much higher can we go in Canada? I'll see you there. Thank you.
court has found sensational tabloid headlines like these about Prince Harry's drug use, love life, and army service stem from illegal means like phone hacking. For Harry, it's a big win with his lawsuit against the publisher of London's Daily Hello and Happy New Year 2024. Happy, Happy New Year. As we conclude today's episode of Majesty Sussex Report on this very first day of 2024, I want to take this moment to reflect on the journey we've shared. Not just today, but in the last few months. In these challenging times, where finding kindness, trust, and genuine care can sometimes feel like searching for stars in, in daylight. Your presence and support have been like a guiding light. Your unwavering commitment to understanding and exploring the complexities of humanity, the good, the bad, and at times, the seemingly incomprehensible has been nothing short of inspiring. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you, my loyal subscribers. Your engagement, your insightful comments, and your continuous support have been the cornerstone of this channel. You've not only listened, but actively participated and enhancing this community, bringing such wonderful values and respect, even when sometimes we may disagree. You always show up with an enormous amount of empathetic understanding. I also want to acknowledge your incredible support for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan and everything Sussex. I see you folks defending, empathizing, and making sure that the things that are said about them that are not truthful, that are misleading, that you do your very best to correct them. And this is what this channel is all about also. So I thank you, I thank you so very much because it's only with your actions, one at a time, that things are changing. As we step into this new year, let's carry forward this spirit of empathy and understanding. Let's continue to be the voices that call for kindness in a world that sometimes forgets that it's important. Let's keep our minds open, our hearts empathetic, and our conversations always inclusive. While we can't predict what the future holds, we can choose how we navigate it. We can choose to be hopeful, yet realistic, to seek the truth with a sense of fairness, and to support causes and people that resonate with our values. 
So, here is to a year of continued growth, meaningful discussions, and unwavering support for each other and for those who most need it. And of course, for the Duke, the Duchess, the little princesses, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibeth, for Mama Doria, and always a prayer for Princess Diana. Thank you all so very much for being these great defenders of fairness and empathy. On behalf of this channel, Majesty Sussex Report, and myself, Antonio, thank you.